Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. So uh, if you can just say yes, <laughs> would be great. Thank you very much. Uh, SDS Optic, uh, because we are a publicly listed company, so I need to present a short disclaimer. So I will skip it, of course, so uh, you, don't, you don't waste your uh, precious time. Uh, almost 22 million euros raised to date uh, from the inception of the company uh, to develop the uh, very disruptive in-probe diagnostics technology, uh, including 10 million euros recently raised funding from the European Investment Bank, uh, and 4 million euros, uh, one of the largest ever SME instrument uh, from Horizon 2020 from the European Commission. From uh, March 2022, we are publicly listed at the Warsaw Stock Exchange, where we managed to almost triple the company valuation over the last uh, 24 months. Um, we are the first European-based uh, medical technology, uh, health technology company, which is merging and connecting molecular biology with novel photonics technologies, which is the fiber optics, as we can call it, uh, together with chemistry and biomedical engineering in a one single, uh, uh, one single platform. This is a solution which can really revolutionize uh, healthcare diagnostics, especially focusing on a, on a cancer biomarker diagnosis. Uh, the challenges on the market we currently all face in terms of cancer diagnostics as well as cancer treatment is first of all, the worldwide, worldwide cancer cases is increasing. We will possibly double the cancer incidence in the next uh, couple of decades. Uh, as well as cancer deaths, unfortunately. So we will very much shortly reach roughly 30, 35 million patients worldwide. And the paradigm we currently have at the one of the very important patient journey in the diagnostics process, uh, once the imaging diagnostics is being done, is the, uh, uh, the biopsy needs to be done. So this is collecting the tissue sample from the tumor and send, send it for the pathology lab. And basically this in vitro diagnostics is a must uh, and it's a paradigm we, we all stick in. On the other side, the future of cancer treatment is already here. So we, we talk also at this conference about gene therapies, monoclonal antibodies, ADCs uh, and, and many others. And they all, because they are very much targeted, they all need targeted, uh, targeted diagnostics. Uh, especially in a, in a novel ADC drug, which was recently very heavily presented by AstraZeneca, which is called NHER2, which is for so-called HER2 low or HER2 ultra low uh, metastatic breast cancers, where this overexpression of HER2 marker is very, very low, and it's absolutely not capable to be checked by the traditional, traditional methods. So what we did is we created a, a very disruptive platform technology, which is merging fiber optics with molecular biology, so we stick the molecular components at the tip of the probe, at the tip of the fiber optic, uh, for the real-time in vivo uh, cancer biomarker detection. So we measure the overexpression of the cancer biomarkers, specifically HER2 in breast cancers, as a first in-human clinical application. Um, and this is a medical device for the rapid diagnosis in vivo, in real time, and we give numerical based results. So we analyze the wavelength shift of, of, of the light, uh, which is being sent back and forward uh, between the tip of the probe and, and the detecting device. Um, so this technology is developed for reducing diagnosis time. So currently biopsy, histopathology testing, it takes sometimes days, but sometimes it takes even weeks or months. Depends if uh, it has to be repeated or because the tissue sample was damaged or, or was too small to, uh, to, assess, uh, to assess properly. In our case, this is happening all in real time in vivo and it takes roughly between 20 uh, 20 and 40 minutes depends on the on the location and depends on the on the medical setup. Uh, that increases precision because it's a numerical based technology, so there is no any image someone has to assess. It's a very much numerical base. We have an algorithm which sits behind uh, uh, behind the analysis of of the light uh, of the light frequency, and is improving the uh, the efficacy of this of this cancer uh, targeted treatments which are currently available. 
So as I said, no tissue biopsy in that technology. Uh, this is an in vivo examination with ultrasonography guidance. So this is exactly the same procedure uh, as traditional biopsy. So any medical personnel who knows how to use how to use the biopsy needle with ultrasonography guidance, uh, they can they can perform this very very easily, which was also proved in a, in the first uh, phase one of our clinical study, which we just end up uh, two months ago. Um, it's focusing on key proteins, so there has to be always uh, a target uh, in vivo uh, which, has to be, which has to be presented. And it's using photonic so-called biosensing technology, which is very safe for patients and for, uh, and for the medical personnel, because it's light, light by definition. Uh, as we can see, it's very much, it's very much safe, of course, if it's, if it's used in a, in a, pro in a proper way. Um, we have several milestones which we are focusing right now. First of all, it's, it's, it's the clinical trials which is ongoing. We just end up phase one, which was safety uh, with 22 patients. Now we move into, into phase two study with roughly 200 patients. We build also semi-industrial pilot production for our, for our biosensors. So we want to prove to everyone uh, outside, also to the big corporates, uh, where we potentially think about some uh, corporate partnering or commercialization processes, but we can, but this can be done, but this can be done in a in an industrial setup, not only in a in a lab setup. Uh, we also we also have a sorry we also have a, uh, have a joint program and a joint project with Philips. Uh, we designed together with Philips and uh, Swiss uh, Institute CSM. Um, in, uh, in Switzerland, uh, our own detecting device, uh, which is the optoelectronics design, but this is also the, uh, the, outer, the outer design. Uh, we think about uh, growing this, this platform technology into several other indications. So one of, the, one of the most important indications is obvious several other cancer biomarkers. So everywhere where you can imagine biopsy, and collecting tissue sample for the pathology lab and having the cancer targeted treatment on the other side, which is mostly monoclonal antibodies or, 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 or uh, cell or gene therapies or ADCs, the novel ones, um, is, is any basically cancer biomarker we can imagine. And we, can, and we test currently in traditional pathology testing like PSI in prostate cancers, uh, EGFR in, in lung cancers and, and several others, but also HER2, which is also uh, visible and detectable in gastric cancers, stomach cancers, or colon cancers. Also retina disorders, that's, uh, that's a very, uh, very unique application for our technology because human eye is very specific. You cannot collect a tissue sample from the human eye. Uh, so getting inside the human eye with a, with a small needle, detecting in real time some of the bio biology targets uh, could be potentially very beneficial for the patients and also for the, uh, for the industry. Uh, trastuzumab, this is the uh, this is the antibody drug for uh, HER2 positive breast and stomach cancers, uh, made by Roche. So we we wish to design a, a very specifically designed drug delivery monitoring probe. So once the patient has been applied with an monoclonal antibodies, she comes back two three days after, and with a small very very small invasive needle, uh, we get in and we detect if the active molecule of uh, of the drug has been delivered precisely to the tumor area. Because if not, something is wrong, diagnostic has to be repeated or uh, dosing has to be increased potentially. Um, the clinical trial status, that's, that's the novel things which are currently, uh, which are currently happening around, uh, around the globe, and basically this is happening right now, is, is the shift of the paradigm in breast cancer uh, diagnostics, in the breast cancer definitions. So we used to say that many, many breast cancers were so-called triple negative or hormone receptors positive. Uh, currently there is a shift into so-called HER2 low uh, breast cancers, which means they are not triple negative or they are not uh, hormone receptors based, but they are basically HER2 low with a very low overexpression of, uh, uh, of HER2. And this is very much happening right now, so that's why we are also adjusting our phase two study in clinical trial. Uh, we wish to address all of this novel uh, novel things which are happening uh, happening around the globe, <coughs> so we respond to these needs of uh, <coughs> of this glo global need of detecting HER2 low, which is which is very very difficult to be detected with a traditional immunohistochemistry test, which is normally zero or so-called one plus, so basically very badly, uh, very 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 uh, very difficult to be detected. Um, 
So when it comes to investment opportunities, uh, because we are, uh, we are publicly listed, of course, we will be raising funds, medical technologies, pharma, biotechs, they always raise funds until they get to the first commercial point. Uh, so very potentially, very poss possibly, we will be raising funds this or next year. So if any one of you uh, would, be, uh, would be interested, uh, please feel, feel free to join uh, us and our institutional investors like, like Norges Bank or European Investment Bank. Uh, thank you very much and it uh, um, seems like I'm just in time, so if any questions, open for one. Thank you.